Good day, great teams, and welcome to today's video in which we are going to be focusing on hyperlinks. So, for the purpose of this, I'm actually going to use an example that comes from the um, Great Team textbook. And here we have a document called Info Diabetes, and uh, they basically ask us to do two things. Number one, they want us to locate the word prevented, which if I scroll down here, there's the word that's highlighted. It says it's on the first page, and they want us to create a hyperlink from this word to the heading, how can we assist diabetics to live a healthier life? And if I scroll down, there we go. So basically, they want us to have a hyperlink where we click on this word and it should take us to this particular heading. All right. Uh, the next one they want us to do is to look at the text information on herbs. Let's see where this is located. There we go. And they want us to create a hyperlink to a file called herb info. Right. So let's get into this. All right. So let's go up to the top. We go to prevented. We then highlight that particular word because that's the one that we want um, to insert a hyperlink on. I then go to insert. And then I go all the way over to the links category. And I'm going to click on link. Now, in some versions of Microsoft Office, this might say hyperlink. Okay, so I'm going to click on that. Then I get this box that gives me a whole lot of options from the left. They're asking me, what do I want to link to? And remember, this one said that it wants me to link to a place inside the document. So I'm going to use option, uh, the second option over here. And then they're asking me, um, what text do I want to display? So I'm going to leave it as prevented. So it still shows that word. And then they ask me, where do I want to link it to? And remember, they wanted me to link it to this heading. How can we assist diabetics to live a healthier life? Click on that, click OK. And there you can see it's now underlined in blue, right? If I click anywhere, you can see it remains like that. Look what happens when I move my mouse pointer over that. It says press Control and click to follow the link. So I hit Control on my keyboard. Look what happens to the mouse pointer. Changes to that sort of finger that you'll see when you uh, click on hyperlinks on Google. Click on it and there it takes me to that particular heading. Now, if I want to see if I've got any hyperlinks in the document, um, you know, I can always click on that over there. Okay, so let's look at our second one. Ah, over here, information on herbs. Highlight that again. Remember, insert tab, links category, click on link. And this time they wanted me to link to a document that is not, you know, inside this one. So you can see my options are existing file or web page. So I can uh, create a hyperlink to a web page or existing file, which is what I'm going to do. We've done placing this document. We can actually um, link to a new document or to an email address. Okay, so we so we do have all these options. Um, yeah, I'm going to click on existing file, and then inside that. What's the name of the file? It was info diabetes. You just select that and then you see the exact same thing happens. When you see this in a document, it means that a hyperlink has been created. So when I press control, you can see again my mouse pointer changing and I click on that. Uh, it's, it should then open that document. Okay, let me just check that. I think I linked it to the exact same document. <laughs> All right, um, let me just use any one. Again, click, and there we go. Okay, so again, when you are looking through a document, please just have a look because you'll see that all these, when, when it changes to purple, it means that it has been clicked on already. If it's just blue and underlined, uh, it means it hasn't been clicked on yet. So. Remember, this hyperlink over here is linked to a place inside the document, whereas this hyperlink over here is linked to a separate document. And that's how we insert hyperlinks.